Veteran Hollywood actor John Okafor, popularly known as Mr. Boo, is dead. The veteran actor collapsed in his home somewhere in Lakey, weeks after he was discharged from the hospital. He was immediately rushed back to the hospital and after some treatment, he regained consciousness. The doctor said that the reason he collapsed was because he had a long battle with blood clotting due to high sugar levels and high blood pressure and that he had to undergo a second surgery to properly heal him. According to family sources, the actor had been in the hospital for some days now undergoing a second surgery. However, after the second surgery, his blood pressure increased so high. The family sources said that his blood pressure was over 200 after he had the surgery. Ms. Dibu was then taken to the intensive care unit to make sure his blood pressure was stabilized. On Saturday morning, Ms. Dibu had a cardiac arrest in the hospital and was placed on life support at the intensive care unit of the hospital. He slept in the afternoon and couldn't wake up in the evening. Ms. Dibu died at Evercare Hospital in Lakey on Saturday, March 2, 2024. The actor's death came as a shock to many because his colleague, Ken Eriks Ugo, posted a video a few weeks ago where he visited Ms. Debu in his Lagos mansion after he was discharged from the hospital. In the video that was posted in January, Ms. Debu was seen looking so healthy and laughing with Ken Eriks like he was not going to die anytime soon. His other colleagues also praised God for healing him in the comment section as they said that Ms. Debu was finally back. The veteran actor died at the age of 62. Ms. Dibu had been battling with diabetes and other illness for years and has been trying to manage it with the help of his loving wife and children who made sure he ate healthy food that would maintain a good insulin balance. But a few months back, he had a big wound on his leg that refused to heal due to an accident. The leg was swollen and he was unable to walk with it. That was when he was rushed to the hospital. The ordinary wound that the family thought would heal with proper treatment, then turned into a serious ailment when they got to the hospital. After staying in the hospital for a few weeks, his diagnosis results came out that he was suffering from constant clotting of the blood on his leg and he may not make it. This was when the family started soliciting for funds from Nigerians. There were even plans to fly him abroad for further medical care, but that plan was aborted by his doctors who believed he wasn't fit to fly and might die on his way. The actor then underwent multiple surgeries after the wound started decaying, but it did not heal him. This led to the actor's leg being amputated days after the surgeries. However, throughout his recovery period after his leg was amputated, followed the drama between his wife and adopted daughter over the funds contributed by the public. The actor was subsequently discharged from the hospital, but the drama between his wife and adopted daughter continued. The actor recently experiencing abnormal high blood pressure in addition to high sugar level, and as God has planned that everyone has a day to die, the actor eventually died from a cardiac arrest in the hospital. A few hours after his death, there have been controversies surrounding the actual cause of his death. <laughs> Wait, I am confused. Did Jasmine know Mr. Abel wasn't going to survive or something? Because I was on TikTok, you know, trying to search for Mr. Abel's TikTok account on, his, on TikTok. Because Mr. Abel has over 1 million followers on TikTok. So I was not searching for that account. I couldn't find Mr. Abel's account on TikTok. I found such, such, such. Can, can you, could you believe that Jasmine changed Mr. Abel's account, TikTok account to her own. She changed it to her own. Look at this is a new name now. She changed it to her own name. And I'm wondering, uh, what is going on? She even deleted Mr. Abel's videos on that TikTok account. And I searched for Jasmine's own. Jasmine has her own personal account. This is it. She has 1.3 million followers. Now, Mr. Abel, so she now changed Mr. Abel's own. She changed it to her own name. Jasmine, Jasmine underscore life. And I'm wondering, why? What is going? Did she know that the man was going to was not going to survive? Because why would she change it? That was so sudden. Like why? I was really shocked. 
What is our game? What is our, our aim? Why? It is well, Mr. Ibo may he so rest in peace. May he so rest in peace. For to even go and change Mr. Ibo's account to our own name. Mr. Ibo was a Nollywood actor and comedian who was born John Ikechuku Okafor in Nkano West, Enugu State, Nigeria. He has a lot of siblings, but the only known one is his sister, Queen Chioma Ebu. After his father's demise, Mr. Ibu resided with his brother in Sapele, where he did many jobs to pay for his education. He attended the College of Education Yola, but dropped out due to lack of school fees. Later, he studied at Institute of Management and Technology, Enugu. Ikechuku Okafor worked in Anambra Broadcasting Service, APS. While he was there, he was cast in the soap opera Obu Anyangu. Later on, he began professionally as a production assistant. While doing that, he learned the rudiments of film production while diligently working with the producers. In the process, producers started discovering his comic side. He was specifically discovered by Alex Ezamak, the MD of Zales Production. Alex gave John a role in 1997. Okafo acted as an imbecile and played the role to the delight of the directors. Therefore, he began to star in comedy movies where he eventually gained popularity as a comic actor. The Nollywood actor's spouse is Stella Maris Okafo. The couple has been married for 13 years. His marriage to Stella is his second marriage. Stella Maris is reportedly a Nigerian actress, model, and she is from Mbise in Imo State. He has three children with his wife Stella, two sons and a daughter. Beside his children with Stella, he has other kids from a previous relationship. In total, Mr. Ibu said that he has 13 children from multiple women. Mr. Ibu first hit the headline in March 2022 due to his illness. The Nollywood comedian alleged that his staff, who his relatives paid, poisoned him at an event. His stomach was swollen and he got well after being treated at a private hospital in Enugu. After surviving the near-death experience, he attributed his being alive to God's immense love for him. Down for so, 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 so many weeks. All I'm hoping is your prayers and assistance. I've been in the hospital since I just speak to you. I'm still lying down in the hospital. The medical director of this hospital said the, that the best solution is in case his new idea didn't work, the best idea is to cut off my leg. Just see me. If they cut off my leg, where will I go to? Where will I go to? Where, where do I go from here? Please, please, be on the prayers for me. Talk to God Almighty. I don't want my leg to be cut up. 